Hey everyone, in this week's NXT tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to build an acceleration MyBlast to control the drive motors on your NXT robot. Now, the importance of an acceleration MyBlast is to start your motors at a low power or at 0% power and then gradually get them to accelerate from that starting point to full speed and the reason why we do this um, sometimes in FLL is because if you start your motors at full power like a high power like 70 percent or up to hundred percent especially if you have tall wheels what can happen is your wheels will spin on takeoff and your robot may rotate or kind of get off track a little bit so we use an acceleration block to ramp up the speed to make it more stable as it begins moving my NXT programming environment is now open and I'm now going to show you how to make that acceleration my block. The first thing that we want to do is define a variable that's going to control our motor speed and this variable is going to increase over time, hence acceleration. So what we're going to do is come up to edit over here, define variables, and we're going to create a new variable. I'm going to name it speed because that's what it's controlling the motor speed and we want it to be a number variable. After we've done that we can close this out and then take our new variable and put it out into the program. We're going to select this new variable that we've made, speed, and we're going to write it. And this is going to depend, this value is going to depend on what you want your acceleration to start at, what power level. I'm going to show you how to make it start from a complete standstill and go all the way up to 100% power. So for that we're going to set the speed at 1 to start, that's 1% power out of 100 next we're going to take out a loop block and this loop block is where our program is going to operate in we're going to take out yet another variable block except this time instead of writing our new speed variable we're going to read it and it's already set to read so that's good we don't have to change anything we're going to take out a move block we're going to pull this out we're going to take the value from the speed block and plug that in as the motor's power. Now at the, in this case if it's the first time we're going through the motor is just going to run at 1% power. Like I said it's starting from absolutely nothing, 0% to go all the way up to 100. Anyway, we're also going to go in here and set this to unlimited and that's all we really need to do because we're not doing any other turns or anything additional like that. Next what we're going to do is take out a math block make sure it's set to addition which is the default we're going to set our b to one and what we're going to do is take this variable uh... this value that we've taken from here we're going to plug it in as a of this math block b is one and then the result is going to be whatever this value was plus one and i'll show you what the reason for that is in just a second finally what we're going to do is take out yet another variable block this time we're going to set it to write yet again we're going to select our speed variable and we're going to take the result from this math block and set this as our speed value and now what we've done is through the course of this loop we've set the motor block to power at the value of speed then at the end we've added one to speed so it's increased by one the next thing to do is change this loop block which is set to forever and we're going to set it to count and our count value is going to be 100 because think about it we're doing a smooth acceleration but we're stepping up in increments of one starting from zero we're stepping up in increments of one all the way up to 100 that's why we have our loop set to count because once it gets to that 100th repetition it's already at full power and we want it to just exit out now the last part of our acceleration block is going to be a weight block and we're going to set this to time and this is seconds and what this weight block at the end determines is how long it's going to take the robot to go from your original speed to your top speed and of course playing around with this like I said um, the uh, larger the value the slower it's going to take to get to its top speed so as I have it right now if I were to type in 0.1 as this weight blocks value it's going to take 10 seconds for the robot to get from a standstill to full speed and the way we determine this is we take this value here in seconds and just multiply it by 100 now if we t change it to a 100th of a second it's going to go 10 times faster 
than what we had it before and it's going to take the robot one second to accelerate from standstill to top speed and again making it a thousandth of a second which means the robot is going to complete its acceleration in a tenth of a second and I'm going to show you what all of this looks like in just a second so this is our completed acceleration block I'm going to show you the acceleration block in action now using various time values to slow down or speed up the acceleration. Now, by watching those video clips, you may have noticed that one important thing about this acceleration is that it doesn't exactly track straight. Now, keep in mind that I'm using EV3 motors controlled by an NXT, and NXT motors might have less of an effect of the curving, but it's still something that we need to address, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, of course, you may want to use some kind of line following or line squaring to straighten it out afterwards, and I have videos on those. But one thing that we can do to this program right now is to change this original speed value. Now originally we're starting at 1% power, so basically from a standstill going all the way to 100%. However, starting it at a slightly higher power, like say 30% power, is going to minimize this curving effect. And you can choose whatever starting value you like, and I'm going to show you 30% power. You don't necessarily need to worry about changing the count if you need to, uh, if you wouldn't like to, because it's going to keep incrementing up by one and it is going to pass 100 the speed value but the NXT already knows to scale it back down to 100 so all it's really going to do is after it's reached its max speed it's going to stay there for a little while so if you want you can change this to 70 since we put the starting speed at 30 but if you don't want to you don't have to the NXT will automatically scale this out anyway without further ado I'll now show you our revised program that starts at 30% power. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.